Hey everybody, welcome back to Adventures with David. Now our adventure lands us here at the, the OC Fair. Man, we are gonna be checking out some fair rides, some fair food, and always with the fair fun. So make sure you guys are subscribed because we have a lot more fun and zany adventures coming your way. If you're ready, I'm ready, huh? Let's giddy up and let's have some fun. Let's go. So, the first stop we're definitely going to be checking out is they're celebrating 30 years of the Centennial Farm. Let's go check it out. So, right over here, they have an energy plant, reusable energy. This is actually is pretty cool. This is a turbine type of charging station, which is pretty awesome. Not only can you actually actually see that, it actually can charge up your phone. So look, if you guys feel sheepish, we got sheep. Oh man, look at this. Look at this. It's like a bunch of crops full of every bit over here at the Centennial Farm now. For you to actually just get away and, you know, like the, always, like the good old saying goes, smell the roses. <laughs> you can definitely come out of here. You can smell like the yellow onion. You can definitely try to smell what that's on here. They have some cilantro, they got some onions. Oh man, look at Super Salsa Garden. Now, which I, for me in personal, this is like my type of garden right here. They got some chile peppers, they got some uh, tomatoes. I think they may have some tomatillos. <laughs> there you go. So all you need is some chips and then just start picking away. It actually is pretty cool. Okay, we got all the pumpkins here. All the pumpkins are lined up ready to for for picking well they're not ready yet they're not ready yet but they'll be ready for halloween look at this they got a whole lineup of pumpkins right here dude and you can honestly get lost just being here i love this right here this is a bitter uh, melon right here oh my goodness they got the corns back over here that's the one thing okay well during hunt season i do i honestly can't wait for it. there are some mazes that are through some corn fields like this and man spooky at night <laughs> we got some more cilantro. Oh man, uh, they got some uh, celery. Got lettuce. Man, there's a lot here. This is actually is pretty cool. Edible parts of a plant. I like that. It actually tells you uh, edible parts. So this is open normally throughout the year. It's called uh, Heroes Hall for you know for the uh, through the eyes of veterans. But I just want to say this. Look at that beauty right there. Oh my gosh, that is incredible. Wow. <laughs> just wanted to stop by here and you know salute to our amazing veterans our active military man so right here is the orange county's beekeepers association and man look at the size of that uh smoker right there <laughs> they do have actual uh, actual bees inside there so you can definitely see them through their colony uh but you can actually roll some candles if you like to for two dollars they showcase what you know, the honeybee's life uh, inside there, you get some important facts, whether it's like the first year to the second year, third year, and then what they actually do, you know, in their daily job. So definitely come on out. Whenever you come out to the Orange County Fair, definitely check out the Beekeepers Association. So here is where they have the butterflies. <laughs> now I gave my daughter my phone so she can actually take a first hand look at what actually is inside there that's actually pretty cool to be able to go inside take some fun pictures you gotta be very careful with all the uh, butterflies in there because she's actually sit talking about them they're actually on the floor they like to be on the floor uh, but yeah <laughs> enjoy this mini clip of the inside of the butterfly emporium All 
All right, guys, look at this. So this is actually one of our first vendors. This is Robert Fremont. Now, what's awesome about this, you know, unique island style decor, specialty gift items, man, man, definitely check this out. Not only do they have like awesome tiki stuff, man, look at what they can bring, man. The tiki's here are pretty much really like no other it is so great they got stuff for your tiki bar they got stuff for your man cave they got woman cave <laughs> they got the tiki bars different types of tiki bars that they do have here wow i was actually talking to them and they are outstanding now definitely if you guys do come by the orange county fair please stop by their shop dude not only do they have tiki stuff they got some boomerangs here they got some uh, trinkets here for you guys wow and you guys got to see this these are so awesome look at this and they actually run you see that by that wheel back over there that is so so cool <laughs> it's like your own Al alebrijes they got some they got some superheroes here for you guys oh wow this is incredible definitely stop by at this place it is so great uh, no, you can't be as sour as a lemon with over here at the Orange, at the Orange County Fair. <laughs> These cutouts are so, so cool. There's like five or six of them back over there, but this one's my favorite. <laughs> Make sure you guys take your fun pictures over here. And don't forget here at the OC Fair, we always take our fun little pictures over here. They're about $10. You can get them in black and white or you can get them in color, but man, this is our tradition every single year. Well, from Not Berry Farm to here at the OC Fair, look who we got. Oh man, Quentin, we got Randy, we got the Funnel Cake Vlog over here, we got Wicked Journeys. This is like a Wicked Journey, right? It is a Wicked, a wicked Journey. journey yeah. Oh my gosh, no pun intended, maybe. We should really all just carpool, shouldn't we, and like save on the gas. We should, <laughs> save on the parking, Save actually. on the parking, yeah, the parking for sure. Guys, Good definitely guys. check out their channel, dude. Their, their channel is so cool. You guys been to the LA County Fair? You guys are like the veterans here. This hey, we, is we try okay. to play it fair. This is so fair. weird. Usually I'm fair. always going to like every. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, I got that. <laughs> now, if there's one thing you have to do at the fair, though, and I don't want to steal any thunder that you're doing, David, <laughs> but you have to meet Arturo the Churro. And before he officially came out for photos, I got a photo with Arturo the Churro. Yeah. Arturo <laughs> the Churro. Uh, well, definitely check out his Instagram, so I'm pretty <laughs> sure he's going to post that. <laughs> All right, guys. Oh, it was actually really amazing to actually find friends of the channel. <laughs> that was so cool. Said their name three times, and they popped out of nowhere. But we actually stopped by Chicken Charlie's for a few, for a couple of items here. So we definitely, uh, well, my daughter and her friend actually got the fried avocados <laughs> uh, well, let's definitely check it out let's see ready well wow, it's unusual <laughs> it's the fry stuff around and then you get the avocado in the middle slightly unusual it's pretty tasty though it really is it gives that it gives the avocado a bit of a oomph so this would be a five out of six <laughs> Look at, we got the bacon wrap pickle. <laughs> this looks like a monstrosity of a, you know, like a scientific looking uh, meatball <laughs> that is being like tested on with some weird stuff going on. But let's check it out, guys. That's really tasty. It really goes well with everything all together. You get the, the sweetness of the pickle. You get the saltiness of the, of the bacon. Everything works well with this. This is a highly recommended item for from Adventures with David. I would literally give this a six out of six. This is phenomenal. So normally, at the most part, tickets would be about forty, well, fifty dollars for forty tickets. It's a hundred dollars for eighty tickets. So there's really no discount on it. But there is one where it's what Wednesdays and Thursdays, where you pretty much can come unlimited for a dollar for a hundred dollars. Per person. person. And I think that's worth it. We were actually walking around here, saw like For as much as you're gonna spend, like on all if you like wanna go on a lot of the rides and stuff, exactly. honestly, like that hundred dollars per person seems like a lot, but honestly, if you wanna enjoy everything here, it would be worth it. Now the one thing right there, which is the fast pass. Now you can pay about twenty-five dollars more for a fast pass, but Today, at the most part, you just have to gauge on how busy it's going to be. So today, it's not as busy, so 
just paying that ticket, being able to walk in is a lot more easier <laughs> on your budget. But if it does get pretty packed where it's, you know, pretty much you feel like an anchovy, then yes, Fast Pass is the way to go. But right inside there, my daughter and her friend are trying the maze challenge and try to get me into, into that maze. And I'm like, no, thank you. <laughs> so here is her footage of the going through that maze. As much as we want to actually go ride some more rides or have some other fun, <laughs> there is something just like all the other fairs. It's the pig races. <laughs> We've never seen it before. Never, yeah. and we, we get to we get to bring you guys along with us on our first time. <laughs> Let's go. There's actually a sign on there. Look at there's like a few things that I think are really really funny. One being it says "You never sausage a show where pigs fly." And then they race. Instead of saying race, you know, to the picture, you know, to the finish, mm -hmm. it's a picture studio. They did, yeah, kind of our dad jokes. Is we gotta find a number, so we all have to have a race number. So it's a pick a pig. Well, it looks like there's four spots and there's four of us, so I think we can all pick. We one all we all pick one pig. See who got. <laughs> yep. Yep. And I, I'm, I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win. Hopefully. We'll see. We'll see. The Alaskan racing pigs are so much fun. They have three different rounds to actually, you know, see the pigs actually come through. And it's a really great attraction if you guys do want to stop by. Get there about an hour to 45 minutes prior to show. So <laughs> that is something that not to miss here at the OC Fair. Oh my gosh, I don't know what I'm, I'm so nervous. Oh my gosh, I, I have a giant fear of heights and it's, this is like really amped up to the max. Dude, this is the one thing you definitely need to do. <laughs> Before you leave the fair, this is incredible. You get to just hang out, be afraid because man, I am freaking out. We are way high. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is, this is actually, it's pretty cool. You get to kind of lay out the land when you're here. This is so cool. Something I would have never thought I would have ever done is this wow my i have i it's a fear of heights and man just for six tickets you get to ride on this that's not that bad <laughs> Right here at the arena, they definitely have like the cars, you know, that like demolition derby. They have like a super cross here. Man, there it is so cool. <laughs> so this is like a behind the scenes of what you know when you actually want to check out the amphitheater or the arena. The hardest part for this is getting down. That's the most important part is the down process on this. How we're gonna get down? I don't know, but I am really nervous. This ride does not stop. So I'm going to actually turn off the camera uh, because I got to like, you know, be able to jump off of this thing. But I got to show you the downward part. There we go. Can you feel it going down? 
Oh no! You can feel it! Oh, you can feel it! <laughs> That's my daughter back over there, Brianna, with her hands up. Here we go! Whee! And here, I thought the sky, a sky ride was actually a must see or must do attraction here. This right here is the Livestock Pavilion, man. They have llamas or oh, alpacas here. Oh, this is so cool. Now, normally fun houses for me are like a hit and miss. Sometimes they're eh, sometimes they're good. But that one back over there, oh my gosh, it gives me the Avengers vibes. Actually, like that was really a fun factory. <laughs> I love the wham, bang, pow. That was really cool. It's like classic. <laughs> it is. Yeah. yeah, classic. Now, when they say this place is called Biggies, they definitely mean Biggies. They have a colossal, and I mean a colossal looking uh, hot Cheeto fries. Man, it's so funny how it says, keep your eyes on the fries. It's a big old thing of googly eyes right in the very front there. Man, those things are huge. And look at that, it's so, so good. Who, you guys eat first. <laughs> That's so good. Now, do I recommend that for one person? Probably not. Do I recommend that for a family? Yes, only if you like hot Cheetos. The one thing that I got was the, well, my wife and I got was the Nashville chicken sandwich. Now, you guys already know I did a review for Nashville Chicken Sandwich back over at Knott's Berry Farm. This time around, it's we're here at the OC Fair. Why not try that, right? Same place. We actually came up to Biggie's. There we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, man. Look at the size of this guy. All right. Is that one much more better than the Knott's Berry Farm version? I would say no. <laughs> it, again, it's still Nashville Chicken Sandwich. It still tastes really, really good. The taste is there. The spice is actually not as prevalent as the one back over in Knott's Berry Farm. But is this a must try? Most definitely. Definitely check it out. I would definitely rank this for me a five out of six. Doesn't really hit the hard mark, but five out of six is almost there. Are these garlicky or are they just fries? <laughs> Let's definitely check it out. Look at that. All right, the garlic is there. It's really, really good. The fries are, I mean, for me in general, whenever I say, oh yeah, it's just fries or it's just, uh, it's just it's just pizza. No, that is really good. That is uh, really tasty. It's a nice little snack. Uh, it's still for me. It's just, it's fries. Uh, it's pretty much like a I would say a four to uh, four to six. The taste is there. At least at, at the most part, the garlic is not powerful and overpowering. Dude, they have a cooling station here. Look at that. Quiet, cool. <laughs> so if it's pretty hot, go on inside there and just cool down for a second. See. There are so many fun pictures to take here at Orange County. Just like right here at Chuck Wagon. <laughs> this is so cool. Ready? Cheese! So I want to actually recommend. So this right here is Moon Goat Coffee Roasters. This is so funny. It's basically when you want to drink a cold brew, they call it a cold foam bruise. <laughs> oh man, this is so cool. Perfect place when you guys want to come out, get yourself a nice coffee, a matcha, a s'more anything definitely come on out and check them out the prices are a hundred percent better than actually places at starbucks these are grip sticks they're going to seal all of your bags of food airtight watch one fold one crease yellow pointer underneath the fold slide it on it's sealed it's airtight but it has air in it we don't want air in our food slide it back halfway pinch above your food fold it over and that is sealed airtight. That stays in the pantry four or five months. It's still airtight, still fresh. Cereal, crackers, cookies, brown sugar, coffee, even in the freezer prevents freezer burn. 12 sticks in a package, five different sizes for $23. They're dishwasher safe, freezer safe, and we do give you a lifetime guarantee on them. Oh, I like it. Grip stick, guys. Definitely check them out. All right, guys, look at We got Zach here from Black Label Brand. That's right. The, <laughs> the barbecue sauce cowboy. That's right. There you go. Our Black Label barbecue sauce. Super local, small business. This is the first batch of our stuff that we've made. We've got the original black truffle. 
really, we're all about flavor with our barbecue sauce. That's what we're all about. See, and this, guys, is everything you can get for his barbecue sauce, the seasoning, and the rubs, which is great. Oh, wow, there's a lot here to choose from. So definitely check them out, guys. So here at the Orange County Fair, there are two different ways to get your tickets and fans online, or you can actually get it here. Now, the problem on the, uh, on, from getting it here than online is online, they actually take out the transaction fees. So you don't pay any additional fees where, you know, at times where it's like a fee for this, a fee for this, and a fee for this, and a fee for this, and you're just like a long list of CVS fees that are going around. Uh, this one, the most part, we actually did our, our advanced uh, tickets and we got ours. It was like 14 bucks. Uh, but also, too, when you do get here, definitely get yourself a OC food guide. And it also tells you this. Check it out. $4. Taste of fair foods. What? So definitely, if you just scan that QR code, it definitely actually tells you. And also, the Thursday actually here, you can actually pay 99 bucks for rides. So not only do you get this right here, which is $4 for fair foods, 99 bucks get you all the rides you can. Just don't ever get me on the sky ride <laughs> ever again. That was gnarly. So right inside of the food guide, they do have four different categories from the grill, sweet and savory snacks, everything fried, international fair, fair. So if you do find a type of snack or food that you want, which is from Biggie's, from Big Dogs, they actually tell you which, which is it coming from. Is it coming from everything fried, from the grill, sweet and savory, or international fair, fair. The one thing here, being here at OC Fair, we have our daughter and her friend as well too, so they get to enjoy the awesome attractions. Well, well technically I wrote the Sky Ride, but most of the attractions that we had here, they actually got to ride them, so hey, that's okay. As long as they have fun, there you go. <laughs> I'm all for the food, and I'm all for the uh, awesome attractions that are around here, and just having fun. So, all day I was actually talking to my wife, and I'm like, man, <laughs> I was looking for a place that had like the culinary, that had like different little innovation stuff. It's here. It's the culinary and expo Explorium here. This is pretty cool. Oh man, let's try to deep dive as much as we can inside. Let's go. We can all be prize winners. <laughs> I love these photo ops, man. They're so cool. Look at this, guys. So definitely come on out and check it out. They got a blender bar here. Now, they do have a large margarita and non-alcoholic smoothie. So definitely come on out and check it out, guys. guys that is it for today's awesome adventure right here at the OC fair now we've had some fair food my daughter wrote uh, some fair rides I rode on the skyline which I actually conquered a biggest fear of mine which is the heights <laughs> I was terrified with that ride but I overcame it for every single one of you guys now if you guys love this awesome adventure make sure you guys give it an awesome fair thumbs up if you guys enjoy my content and want to follow me on all of my fun and zany adventures make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and always share my videos with your family and friends now if you would love to own your own adventures merch or even support the channel i'm gonna have those links down below in the description so definitely check them out and now we are onward to the next fun adventure let's go